Irvi 3D Quick Start Tutorial Views and Panels When you start Curvy, the application window will appear. The interface consists of three areas. Views, these show your 3D models from different angles. Panels, tools, controls and object properties are found here. And Menus, commands and options are split into categories along the top of the screen. This guide will refer to views and panels by name. The name of each viewport appears in orange in the top left. Panel names are at the top of each panel. Around the edges of each view there are view controls. Don't worry about these for the time being. As you use Curvy you'll notice the mouse cursor changes shape. Move the cursor over a view and you'll see a tool cursor. This means the tool is ready for use. Move the cursor over a panel or view control and it will change into a plain arrow. The Tools panel. Find the Tools panel at the top of all the panels. Tools are the main way to interact with the 3D models you create in Curvy. Clicking on a tool will choose that tool. Most of the tool buttons have a little tab in the lower right. This means there are more tools available under that button. Press and hold the left mouse button on one of these tab buttons to see all the available tools. Drag with the left mouse button to the tool you want and let go. Usually the tool you choose will become outlined in red and the tool cursor will change into your selected tool. However, some tools need an object to be selected before they can be used. If you don't have an object selected, the tool will appear with a little red symbol and the tool defaults to the select tool until you have chosen an object. Draw your first object. To draw your first object in Curvy you will need the Create Lathe tool. Select this tool by clicking on its button in the Tools panel. Your mouse cursor should now appear like this when you move it over a view. In the left view, which is the view in the bottom right of the screen, Draw a single continuous line with the Create Lathe tool by dragging the left mouse button. You will see the line being drawn in purple. The line is drawn top to bottom. When you release the left mouse button, Curvy will create a new lathe object. The new object is now visible in all, all four views. Notice how the object looks round in the top view. The line you drew has turned orange. This is the colour to show a selected object. Now you have a selected object, more tools become available to you. Notice that your tool has changed automatically into the Add Curve tool. This tool lets you continue drawing your model. Draw the second stroke by dragging the left mouse button. The curve you drew is used to remake the lathe object, now using both curves. Now draw one last curve, this time in the front view. This lathe object now has three curves. The blue line you can see is the centre line of the object. Now tap the M key on the keyboard to make the object symmetrical. Once you get used to curvy lathes you'll be able to make all sorts of shapes in moments. Select your object. Deselect your object by clicking with the right mouse button in an empty part of the view, or by pressing space. Right mouse button is a quick shortcut to choosing the select tool from the tools panel. The curves disappear when the object is not selected. Now hold down the right mouse button in a view and drag it over and off your object. Notice how all the curves appear in light blue and when you move over a curve it turns orange. If you let go of the right mouse button while an object is orange, that object will be selected. With an object selected, using the right mouse button to select, we'll pick an individual curve out of that object to edit. View your first object. This section explains how to change the views using pan, orbit and zoom tools. These tools are found on the far right of the tools panel. When you hold down the left mouse button 
on the tool button you'll see all three view tools. The easiest way to learn these tools is to use them. Pick a view, view tool and drag on one of the views. Notice that if you drag in any other view than the perspective view, it'll always snap back to a straight on view of your model. Each view has three buttons in the lower left corner. Recenter, one left mouse button click, recenters the view on the selected object if one is available, or the centre of the scene if nothing is selected. Orbit, dragging with the left mouse button orbits the view, and zoom, drag with the left mouse button to zoom. If you have a three button mouse, you can access all of the view controls very quickly. Pan by dragging with the middle mouse button, Orbit by dragging with the middle mouse button while holding the control key, and Zoom by rolling the middle mouse button, if it has a mouse wheel. Paint on your object. First, make sure your object is selected. If you can't see the object's curves in orange, use the right mouse button and drag over the object to select it. Now select the paintbrush tool, highlighted in red in the image of the tools panel. You can paint by dragging with the left mouse button over your model in the 3D view. You can choose different colours and change the paint brush size and opacity and the shape of the brush using the tools in the colour panel and the paint brush panel. Paint the curvy map. You can choose different map types to paint on in the object properties panel. We're going to set your object up ready for painting on its curvy map. Click on the little grey square next to the text curvy map and the paintbrush icon will move onto the square as in the above image. This means any painting you do will happen on the curvy map. Also, the top view will change into, the, into a view of the image you're about to paint on you can paint on this 2D map instead of onto the 3D model. Increase the resolution of your model by right clicking on the resolution slider and entering 10,000 into the box that pops up. Now choose white as your paint colour and draw on your model. You should notice some slight bumps appearing. Drag the curvy displacement slider to the right to increase the effect your curvy map has on the model. This is the slider directly beneath the text curvy map. Choose black as your paint colour to paint grooves and holes onto the model. Hold down shift while painting as a shortcut to the smooth brush tool. You can save your model at any time using the menu file save and entering a name. All of the maps you've painted on will be saved out with the curvy file as separate bitmap files.